Folks, I'm bringing a very special guest. This guy very well may be the next coming of Sean Taylor. When you watch his tape, there's a, a, a 90s, 80s just dog in him, D-A-W-G. When you watch him, you would think that this guy has a vendetta against another person. <laughs> However, this guy's six foot two, I wanna say about 200 pounds. He is one of the best safeties in this year's NFL draft. Uh, with the draft literally just over 24 hours away, this is a name you want to watch. And if he lands on your team, good God almighty, you better go cop that jersey. But I have him on the show with us here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take and welcome the legendary, coming out of Duke University, Darius Joyner. Darius, how you doing today, man? Doing good. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Hey, blessed to have you on. Draft is literally just over a day away, man. How you feeling, man? I'm, I'm excited. I've been working for this my whole life. I'm just ready for everything to come to fruition. Yeah, man. Absolutely, bro. I mean, honestly, man, like watching your tape, uh, you were at, uh, I think it was Jacksonville State at one point in time. You go to Duke, uh, you have leveled up, you have taken advantage of every opportunity to be the best football player you can be in your tape and the stats show it, man. So congrats on all your success. Man. Thank you so much. Absolutely, man. Take us from the beginning, man. When did you first fall in love with the game of football? Um, my Pee Wee team, we went like 15 and 0 for we went undefeated for like three seasons straight so back then the competitive nature about the football i just fell in love with it at a real young age and that just that just fuels me to this day i just still have that same competitive nature like i did when i was a kid did you always play uh defensive back i used to be a quarterback and then my Ooh. uh my best friend in high school he wanted to play quarterback as well so there was uh -huh. no for both of us to feud it out about who was going to be the quarterback so he was a quarterback i moved to safety and it's the, it's, the, it's the same thing, just the quarterback of the defense. I, I felt like I still had a similar responsibility. But, yeah, I moved to safety, and that's all she wrote. Man, I love it, man. I, I'm sure you're like, hey, you quarterback, but I'm going to be in the backfield picking you off, okay? Oh, I, did, I, did a lot of, I did a lot of that with him. <laughs> hey, iron sharpens iron, they say, right? So <laughs> that's cool, man. Now, you've had this amazing football journey. Man, Darius, tell me, what was your aha moment? Because you're a very special player, man. Like, you're not just any player in this draft. What was your aha moment when you realized, like, man, one day I can be in the NFL and take it to the next level? I mean, I, I guess I've always been kind of delusional in that sense. Like, even when I stepped foot on campus as a freshman, I just, like, it was never a thought in my mind that I wasn't going to the NFL. I thought I'd just start competing with everybody else. I just I just felt like I always knew I was going to go to the NFL. I really haven't had a, a aha, yeah, I'm finally good enough to go because I, I always had that confidence that I was going to be an NFL player one day. So that's just what it was from the beginning. Man, I love it, man. And who are some players that you take you model your game after? I mean, I don't, I kind of don't know exactly who I model my game after, but I love Tyran Matthews, Justin Simons, Kevin Byard. I love a lot of great safeties in the league. Um, it's a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of great safeties in the league that I just, just look up to and just try to just steal little things from their game and just implement it into mine. I love it, man. I love it. Now, when I watch your tape, man, it's tough to see any flaws in your game. If I'm being honest with you, I'm like this. He, he's fast. He could deflect passes. And if he puts the hit stick on you, man, oh, call 911. <laughs> uh, what goes into your training to make Darius jo Joyner the player that he is? I mean, I just work hard and I put myself through training where it's not a certain time every day. I might try to go at two o'clock today. I might go at 12 o'clock the next day or I might just go when nobody's out there or anything like that. I just want to put myself in the most uncomfortable position in practice so I could be the best player on game day because more than likely I'm not going to be in an uncomfortable position on game day like I have put myself in in practice. So, But even if I do, I practice it, so I'll, I'll be prepared for it. That's awesome, man. Do you have any uh, pre-game day rituals? I don't have any game day rituals. I just try to relax, listen to some music, and I'm just ready for the game. That's awesome. And if you don't mind me asking, what's in the headphones on game day? Uh, probably a lot of Boosie, okay. Wimby, Boy, Kodak, Drake, Future. It's, it's, I mean, I'm all around. It's just whatever, whatever beat him that day. I feel that. I feel that. That's yeah. awesome, man. Um, now, with draft day literally just tomorrow, what are some of your plans for draft day? Uh, I got finals on the first and the second of next week. So right now I'm going to be currently <laughs> studying. It's up to when my name is called, I'm going to, you know, enjoy it. Just like, I'm just going to enjoy it. Like it's my birthday. You're going to be in uh, North Carolina or uh, back home in Alabama? I don't think I might go back home to Alabama and be with my family. That's awesome, man. That's very cool. Now, once your name is called, I mean, there's so much. It's like, you got finals next week. You're a professional football player. It's just like, it's the time of your life right now, man. So, yes, uh, 
what are some of your goals year one and then of course throughout the rest of your career in the NFL once you're selected? Year one, I just want to go in and earn the respect of my teammates and my coaches and know and let everybody know that I deserve to be here, that I plan to be there for a long time. And in my career, I want to be an all-pro safety. I want to win championships. And I, I just want to be the best player and teammate that I could be. I love it, man. I love it. And then uh, last question of the day, man. What's something you want NFL teams to know about you? They watch this interview and quite a few scouts do. What's something you want NFL teams to know about you that perhaps they may not know already about you? Um, I don't think everybody knows how resilient I am, how 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 strong my will is. I just feel like I'm one of the most strong will, resilient, strong minded people in this draft. And I feel like that's going to show when the time comes. Man, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Darius Joyner out of Duke University, man. Darius, thank you so much for coming on the show. I, again, draft is literally just tomorrow. So if you need to take time out of your very busy schedule, man. I truly do appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Before you go, any shout outs? Mm, shout out to God. Shout out to my parents. And I just, that's about it right now. And shout out to you for having me. Hey, my pleasure, man. My pleasure, man. And ladies and gentlemen, go down below in the description of this video. I'm going to have all social media stuff down below. It's Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Give this man a follow, but also as well, you're going to get inspired. You're going to see a person who he mentioned himself. He's resilient. Uh, not only on the field, but off the field as well, too. This is a guy that uh, is a role model for kids, but also as well, he's a, a guy that you want in your locker room for sure. Also, comment down below. Let us know how this interview made you feel. And uh, and, and comment below. Let, let me know uh, what team you see him taking uh, landed on uh, tomorrow night. So, Darius, thank you so much again. You guys go ahead hit that subscribe button. Thanks for, watching. Thanks for watching another episode of The Touchdown with Doug Smith, where I cover all 32 NFL teams plus NFL exclusive interviews. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for the alerts, comment below, and we'll catch you next time on the Touchdown with Doug Smith.